Aha, this is Laborte. These are the colors you need. Okay, we start with the robe. We are using Werberer's red for our base coat, okay? It's a very, very dark red color. It's very nice. It covers really, really nicely, okay? And we start with the robe because that's the most inner part, you know? We're going from the inside to the outside. It's going to be beautiful, okay? After that, we are using Dragon Red from Army Painter to get that nice opaque orange color. You can do it building up from a dark red, okay? We are covering around 95% of the word barrels red. But do keep in mind that uh, Dragon Red doesn't have the same uh, opacity as uh, word barrels red, so you might need a couple layers. And uh, do not cover the shadowy parts. We use Fire Dragon Bright mixed with Dragon Red to start building up our mid-tone of the orange color. As you can see, it's a much bigger step in value of the color, so we do need to glaze this step, okay? But it will only take around two layers, okay? It's not much. When I'm glazing, I don't want to do 36,035 layers, okay? And, and Papa Labort doesn't want you to do 36,000 and the numbers I said before, okay? Then we paint the next highlights with pure Fire Dragon Bright. It's a really nice orange color, okay? All of a sudden orange is not a hard color to paint, especially because we are using uh, black uh, primer. But that's completely okay, because we are building up our orange step by step, and we don't have to fight the pure coverage that usually orange paints have. If the robe is facing upwards, you put Fire Dragon right there, okay? You don't want to put this color in the recesses, don't want to ruin our nice dark shadows, okay? That way, we are creating nice contrast. And as I said before, we are building up our brighter layers. It will be really, really smooth. Now we're glazing again with a little bit of water or glaze medium, whatever you would like to use. Remember guys, for the motion that you like to do with your brush, okay? When you are highlighting, you always start with darkest part and you finish your brush movement in the lighter part, okay? So dark, light, like this. Silky smooth, like a granny's butt check. We go for a final highlight for the robe with sunny skin tone. Okay? It's a really, really bright orangish yellowish color. It's really nice. It covers really, really well. Keep in mind that we are placing our highlights next to the face at this step. Okay? We don't want to edge highlight the lower part of the robes. That's uh, just pure Mickey Mouse. You don't want to do that. So just cover the shoulders and this uh, rope part that uh, hanging there from his uh, forearm. Okay? Look at it. It's smooth and nice. It's coming together perfectly. Okay, skin parts, you guys. Blood River Flash for our darkest uh, base coat. Okay? We are going for a kind of uh, darker skin tone. Okay? You know, some, someone from the Middle East or something, and we would like to cover all of the skin. So hands and toes and head and shoulders and ah, I learned, learned this uh, song in uh, kindergarten, head and shoulders and toes. This was so nice. I'd love to sing, but I can't and I won't. So don't worry about that, okay? Don't forget to cover the hands, the fingers and the feet. Not the feet. The feet, okay? Cover it nicely. After that, we quickly pick out the eyes with ice yellow, okay? Uh, I didn't want to go with uh, more of an off-white because I guess uh, this guy is a wizard or something. So maybe his eyes glowing a little. Now our first skin highlight, it's going to be Bugman's glow. Remember the rules, okay? No Mickey Mouse, just the basics. Forehead, cheek, cheek, apparently jawline, but uh, we got that covered with a beard, so we don't worry about that, okay? Very important, guys, ears, you have to pick up ears always. Also put some Bugman's Glow on the fingertips, okay? But just a tiny bit, not much, okay? 
and to get a nice and smooth effect, we're also blending it with our Bagman's Globe Glaze. Okay. Next, we reduce the highlighted part with a mixture of Bagman's Glow and Barbarian Flash. Try to create a little smaller area in the Bagman's Glow area, right? We're picking out parts that are closer to the eyes, you know, to draw some attention to the eyes. Make sure your brush tip is pointy as can be, okay? And the paint consistency is dense enough. And as usual, we are going to smooth it out with some glaze medium added to the mixture. You can do as many layers as you like, but I think two or three layers is more than enough for that, with the right consistency. Now, we are using Barbarian Flash purely to build up our final highlights to create some uh, shiny, greasy effect on his uh, head, okay? I mean, not greasy, but you know, like when the bald guys have a shiny head. I think they, they are using wax or something, I don't know. And now we mix in a little bit of ice yellow with some water. Um, I have to admit, I went a little bit far with the highlights, okay? It looked like more of a Caucasian skin tone, okay? That's not racist. And I didn't want it to do that. I realized that and we're going to fix it, don't worry. But uh, just go with it if you want to achieve the same result, okay? And the end result will be real nice, okay? Don't you worry about that, not for a minute. Now we're picking up all his trinkets, his old man jewelry with dryad bark, okay? Something about old man with lots of gold jewelry is, is a little bit intimidating. Or maybe it's just me, but uh, yeah, old man with, with uh, lots of jewelry is scary. But I can't explain why. Okay. Now, we are only painting the gold parts with some acid desert. It will be really nice, okay? As you can see, I use a little bit diluted paint consistency, okay? But uh, that's fine. You need a couple of layers. It's yellow on a dark color, so it, it doesn't cover really well. You might need a couple of layers, but that's okay. It will be worth it, I promise. And we are also glazing it a bit, but really check your paint consistency, guys, because if you get it too runny, it will run into the crevices. It's not going to look nice on our nicely painted orange robe, okay? And especially it's not gonna look nice on the little ropes that bind these uh, jewels to get together or trinkets or uh, medallions or whatever, okay? If you do get some paint into the crevices, especially on his uh, wrist rings, just grab a damp brush and soak it up real quickly, okay? Then you'll be fine. Next part is Morgas Bone, putting some highlights on the medallions that face upwards and because we are painting an MM, some downwards because that's gonna look alright and uh, it's uh, gonna sell the NMM effect, okay? And as you can see, Morgas Bone is really close in value to Zamesi Desert, so without any blending, it's going to just blend in nicely if you use some pink coats and build up the layers, okay? Tiny, tiny parts, remember. Because if you don't remember, Papa Labort is going to come to you and slap on your tiny hand like that, and you are going to cry, and I don't want that. It's going to be a bad experience after all. You are not gonna like uh, painting. So please don't do that, okay? Okay. And now to start the shiny gold NMM effect, we are creating tiny, tiny dots of light. Or maybe bigger dots, that's okay. And all of a sudden, wow, these are looks like golden, shiny medallions, trinkets, or whatever, okay? It looks nice. Look at it. Look at, ah, I have it here, okay? Look at it. It's 
looks nice. Although you can't see it, but you can see it on the other camera footage. Okay, now we are going back to the beard. The nice beard with dried bark and ice yellow mixture. Cover the whole thing, because we are going for a white beard effect. Kinda white beard effect. You know, in my basic little understanding, if you want to paint white hair, there is one thing that could help you paint better white beard, and that is you don't use pure white. You use it in the mixture of the colors, but you don't go full white. You know, how incredible is that? Now we add a little bit more ice yellow to the mixture and keep reducing our highlight areas, okay? We want to see the darker gray in the beard. That's going to be our shadows, okay? Now for the same mixture, we add a little bit of pure matte white. Try to, try to cover smaller and smaller surfaces with them, okay? Because we would like to do it nicely. And for our final highlight for the beard, we are using mummy robes with a little bit of glaze medium or water, okay? This is not a base layer consistency. It's a little bit diluted, okay? And try to be careful with the consistency because if it flows in the recesses of the beard, it's not going to look well. And you know what happens then? Slap on your tiny hand. And even I don't want to do that, okay? And after that, we paint the teeth and the mouth. We paint the teeth with mummy robes and the mouth with uh, Bugman's glue. But don't try to paint the whole surface of the lip. Try just tiny, tiny, tiny stripes, okay? I know it's really small, uh, use a magnifying glass or something, okay? Now back for the other part of the robe, this uh, hanging thingy under his waist, okay? You cover the whole part with zandri dust and also you cover this uh, school with zandri dust, the horn, everything. Except the darker parts, so not really everything. Because we are covering the darker parts of this school with blood river flesh. Base layer consistency, no Mickey Mouse, just cover the darker parts and leave the other parts with the Zandri dust. And now, you guys! Now comes the best part. Do you like geometry, you guys? Do you like it? Because if you do, you are going to love the next part so much. The next part is called spending one and a half hour trying to paint tiny, tiny triangles. It's a nice challenge. Let's put it this way. Also, as you can see, I sketched out the triangles with a pencil. I highly recommend you to do that also, if you want to paint the triangle. If you don't want to do that, that's perfectly fine. But as I said, it's a, it's a nice challenge. So try to do it. Nicer to say that, yeah, it was a, a quite quite a bit of challenge when it was actually really frustrating. But I'm sure that you will conquer this task with the utmost perfection. So I'm not worrying about you, okay? If you make a mistake with Blood River Flash, you go back with Zandri Dust. If you make a mistake with Zandri Dust, you guessed it, you go back with Blood River Flash. When you are done with your nice and sharp edged triangles, we are going to use a mixture of Bugman's Glow and Fire Dragon Bright to paint uh, to paint that rim part of on the eyes. I, I don't know what it is. And then we go into painting some shadows. And we paint those tiny, tiny little stuffs on the skull nose part, maybe, uh, with dry bark. Now we give some love to those horns. Okay, so we pick out the stripes with Temple Guard Blue. Base layer consistency again. Even you, you can use paint out of the pot. It uh, doesn't matter as long as you spread it out, okay? Next, we use Mephisto Red for the red parts of the horn. And we are creating these nice little stripes and make it more colorful. And it's just a joy even looking at it. 
isn't it now? We are also highlighting the school part with Morgesbond. Okay, this is really close in value to our base layer of Zandri dust, so you can get away without glazing or anything if you do it with a thin coat. Okay, and there is this uh, bluish greenish uh, hue on the school, and we are going to glaze that in. It's a really, a really diluted glaze. Okay, it's like uh, dirty paint water. So you need a hand sum of layers, okay? Like uh, 10 layers would be, would be fine. And, and as you build up the layers, because we are using only one color, you also reducing the area of the layers, okay? You don't want to end up uh, with a blue school, okay? Then you paint the eyes of the skull with ice yellow. Now we go back to the horns to make it a little bit more turquoise, if I, Say that right. <laughs> Couldn't say it any worse if I wanted. To highlight the turquoise parts a little bit more. <laughs> How do you say it? <laughs> turquoise part. Turquoise. 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 The turquoise parts. Okay? Now my pronunciation is perfect. Highlight the turquoise parts more. We are using Baharat blue, more like a heavy glaze consistency than a, than a layer. Also, you can get away with the layer uh, and glaze it after a bit more. That's all right. Okay, guess who forgot to paint the eyebrows? Not me, because we are doing it now with a mixture of ice yellow and dryad bark. And again, same steps like with the beard. Now we are painting the tongue part of the skull because it's a skull with a tongue, okay? We are using Mephisto red. After that, we try to highlight it with a mixture of Mephisto red and Emperor's Children. And to create some texture on the tongue, we are using full green pink and try to Tipple in some tiny dots and tiny stripes to create this uh, tongue looking effect. Okay, if you're done with that, we pick out the teeth with some Zendri dust. And now we go back to the parts with some NMM, like his uh, dagger and uh, his uh, sandals. Again, guys, same steps as we used for his jewelry. So no Mickey Mouse here, Zamesi Desert, Morgast Bone, blend some in, not the Morgast Bone, but the Zamesi Desert, and uh, create some dots with pure white, then it's going to look like gold. And if it's not, on your tiny hands. So it better looks like gold, okay? Now we go back to the face, because the skin color was a little bit light. If you like it as it is, leave it as it is, okay? But uh, I want a little bit darker skin tone, so I glazed in some Bugman's glue and it worked out just perfectly, okay? Now we continue to work on the horns, okay? We highlight the red parts with White Rider Red. Again, a little bit heavier glaze consistency. So if you build up layers like that, it's uh, going to blend in nicely and get a smoother result with less work. Now, the pointy part of the horns, we cover that with dryad bark and highlight it with a little bit of ice yellow in the mixture, okay? Now for his staff, we cover the wooden parts with Blood River Flash base layer consistency. and then highlight it with Bugman's Glow. But try to create some wood grain effect, you know, like it looks like uh, some, some kind of bark, okay? So basically we are creating texture again. To do that easily, get a real sharp tip and use base layer consistency. Now add some Bestigore Flash to our Bugman's Glow and try to follow the lines 
that we created with Bugman's Glow and don't cover all of it, okay? Now for the jewel, we are using Temple Guard Blue, but don't cover the whole surface of the jewel. Also the beak of this uh, <laughs> dark, dark stuff, okay? And after that, you glaze in some uh, Temple Guard Blue. Don't, you don't need more than one or two layers of that, okay? You just want to tint the black parts. Now to create some contrast and sell the jewel effect, we are using Temple Guard Blue in a glaze consistency. We'd like to create a gradient, okay, on the jewel. And lastly, we create tiny dots of white and, and a bit of an edge highlight where you can do it, okay? After that, we go back to the sheet of his dagger, we use Bugman's Glow, and then we mix that with Bestigore Flesh, and after that, we are using pure Bestigore Flesh, but in a glaze consistency, to create a beat up uh, used leather look on the sheet. Details, guys, we are picking out his toenails with Barbarian Flesh. You can also do it on his. Uh, hands. I forgot to do that, but you should do it, okay? I wasn't happy with the horn, so I kept pushing the contrast, okay? We add some ice yellow to our Baharat blue and uh, some glaze medium or water and uh, glaze in some more highlight and it was a really, really wise decision, let, let me tell you. Turned out real nice. Obviously, we do the same method for the red parts as well. Little bit of ice yellow to the white rider red and some glazing. It will look so nice, you guys. This, this horn that just came alive, okay? And also the school part. Little bit of mummy robes to the Morgast bone. Also some glaze, some water, and it will create such a nice effect. And to finish up our model, we are painting Incubite Darkness to the dark part of the robes. So guys, I hope you are enjoyed this little adventure of painting as much as I did. Okay, if you liked it, do give a thumbs up on this video, or a like, or whatever it could, and uh, and leave a comment for Papa Laborde to read. Okay, like, wow, Papa Laborde, this this was really nice, very good paint job, yeah. Or Papa Laborde, I I I didn't know how to do this part. Uh, can you answer this question, please? And I will answer it, of course. So, I hope. The rest of your day will go smoothly as a granny's butt cheek. And also follow me on Instagram and Facebook, okay?